Right, coming soon. I am having in BenQ monitors this time to reveal. I've also got some more AOC monitors to reveal. And also, I will be doing a PC build and it will be including water cooling. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for further videos. Right, this is my next video. This is, is push pull configuration dead? Well, what we need to know first of all is a little bit of history. Well, to the 2010-2011 push pull on many custom loops were very popular. Now, they're not as popular as they used to be because fans have evolved. Better static, op uh, static pressure fans, much better high RPM fans have come out since 2010-2011. So, let's turn right for a 240mm AIO off them. And I asked, be quiet for more of their Silent Wings 4s. Because they are a very good option when it comes to silence, but to performance. They do run at 1500 RPM and they are definitely capable of pushing a lot of air through any radiator. Now generally when it comes to push-pull, the best optimization is for a very thick radiator. But I haven't got any thick rads here except my personal build and it's all full of water. So... What we're going to do next is get into the overall benchmarks with the Ryzen 9 5900X and let's see if this 240mm radiator but with push-pull configuration can actually beat it. So, make sure you continue to watch. Right, in terms of benchmarks, now I did two different tests. One with two, in fa two fans installed, a basic configuration for an AIO, then I did it with push pull so Cinebench R23 with two fans now the idles with 39 uh, 35 celsius the max was a 73 celsius a 64 was 35 at idle and it was a max of 78 celsius blender classroom the idles were 37 celsius and the max was a 75 blender bmw what the idles are 37 the max was a 74 now that's with two fans now we go to with four fans. So, with four fans on the Cinebench R23 run, the idles are 35, the max was a 72 Celsius, ready a one degree drop. A to 64, the idle was a 36 Celsius, the max was a 78. Initially, it wasn't really a difference, except, you know, that's just one of them things. Blender Classroom, the idle was a 36 Celsius, the max was a 60. 74 so there was a one degree difference there on the idle and the max blender bmw the idles were 36 the max was a 73 celsius so there was another two degree difference one in the idles one in the max so you saw the benchmarks is push pull dead well it depends the way the way you've got to see it is push pull push pull configuration was generally used for as I said in the beginning of the video, water cooling, a very thick radiator, is to push, in, push enough volume of air through a thick radiator. But obviously in these, these day and ages, now you've got AIOs that can handle 100 watt CPUs. You've also got AIOs that can handle 240 watt uh, CPUs. So generally, the actual, you know, obviously it was popular back in the early days, but some people still run it, run it, but it's not as popular as once was, so basically it is dead. But, of course, if you're doing a like custom loop or something like that, that's where it would help you better because it's for positive or negative pressure in the radiator for pushing air straight through. So, obviously, the thicker the rad, the harder it is to push air. So, with nice static optimized fans, you can push a lot of air at not a very high RPM. Uh, yeah, RPM and a very loud decibel. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. This one I really enjoyed doing as because this was a passion project. I, re I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos back in the early 2000s where like Linus Tech Tips, for instance, would do a lot of experiments when it comes to push-pull. I've done it myself, yeah, there's one to two degree difference, it depends on the situation, 
of course the 5900X isn't as hot as the 5800X because the 5800X or the 5800X 3D is just completely different ball game. Them two are just monsters. And of course this isn't a very high temperature based CPU. Now I will say when I first had the 5900X with air cooling, the max I had out of this was 90 Celsius. And when this hits 90, that's when it starts the thermal throttle. So it's definitely better than what it used to be. But then again, you could probably just do with a 240 loop. So that's pretty much it, guys. Look, I got a lot more stuff coming back from BenQ, AOC. I've still got a collaboration deal that I've just signed with Team Group. I'm waiting on the product. So, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Good. Bye.